We got in hand the Kyrie Irving 4 All-Star Shoe. We're going to get into a detailed review, and I got a ton of other shoes I'm going to show you at the end of this video. So don't go running off as soon as you see what you want to see on this shoe, because I got some stuff you're going to want to see, so stay tuned. Before we get into the review, subscribe if you are new, hit that red button, bang, and there's this little bell next to the subscribe button. It is so important you hit the little bell. It gives permission for YouTube to let you know when I upload a new video. I know it sounds silly. You would think press and subscribe is enough, but no, they want you to also hit a bell just to confirm that you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. So make sure to do so. I'm going to hit you with like four or five videos today. I'm going ham today because there's too many shoes that I shot today. The Kyrie Irving 4 All-Star Edition is fire. The colorway is just really, really nice in person. I love the images that were put out there by Nike and other outlets. But, you know, in person, they look so good. I highly recommend you getting them. I will put information in the description box below for your convenience or go to my blog, thesneakerratic.com. They did a great job on this. Maybe one of the best Kyrie All-Star shoes to release. That's a debate, though, and I'd love to hear your opinions on that. So get on that keyboard and let me know your favorite Kyrie All-Star shoe. Let's get up close. You see the tie-dye in black and white, that, like, design looks so nice. You have your, like, teeth in that baby blue and white, and then you have your swoosh right there. I love the colors on this shoe. Here's a look at the outsole. You have your Kyrie logo with your Zoom Air right there. Check out the traction. There's a look at that. Let's get up close. Check it out. And there is a look at the medial side. As far as the fit, I go true to size on these. They are a little snug. You got to loosen them up like crazy. Like really loosen them up. Some people are like, man, you got to go up half the size. But then they fit too long. You got to sit down, loosen them up all the way down, loosen them all the way down, and then retighten them to where it's comfortable to your feet. That is a major key when it comes to the Kyries. All of them fit the same, in my opinion. They all have a very similar feel. They have a similar look, too. But as far as the fit, I do recommend true to size unless you have a wide foot. If you have a wide foot, you must go up half a size. There's no doubt about it if you have a wide foot. But you want your shoes not to fit too long. And the best way to solve that when it's so narrow is just really loosen them nice at first so you could break them in. And loosen not just the first top few laces, but the whole entire thing. So work your way down and then work your way up. And just get it looking right after. That's my tips on sizing. Also, you see JBY, Just Be You. You've got your toe with your little suede hit. And then you've got your lace system. Check it out. With your logo popping so nice up top right there. Behind the tongue is a little bit of a mystery to me. I have no clue what this means, this logo. There seems to be a whole lot going on with it. If you know, let me know in the comment box below, please. Let me know. Break it down for me. I'm trying to learn. Sometimes I don't know it all. In this case, I don't really know the whole deal with this logo right here. And I've been wanting someone to break it, break it. down for me. So please do so. There is a look at the outsole. It's got like a little bit of a sketch going on. This is my first time seeing the shoe. So, you know, I'm not really familiar with what this is, this image. So if you know what that is, please let me know also. And there you go with a close-up HD look at the shoes. Available now. They did release today. Retail is $120, I'm pretty sure. And I recommend them. They look so good in person. They're really delivering some great colorways. I would say this is up there with the Black History Months. I think the Black History Month carries are really, really nice. I watch WWE wrestling and I noticed Kofi Kingston has been wearing them a lot lately in the ring. He wrestles in them. And I really like how they look like on feet. They look really good on feet, the Black History Month. So 
I would say it's a toss up between these and the Black History Months. Another pair of shoes that released today that I'm really digging is these Russell Westbrooks. I'm seeing them in person for the first time and I'm highly impressed by the shoe. I think it's a nice, nice pair. Reminds me of some of the retro Jordans from back in the days. Let me know what you think these remind you of. I'd love to know that also in the comments and if you want a review, I got you on that. Also check out these Paul Georges. Let me know what you think of this colorway. Definitely has that undefeated type of vibe to it. And I will do a review if you guys want me to. Just let me know in the comment box. Please give me that feedback. Tell me, Dells, I want to see a review. Please hit me with the review on this or that or all of them. Let me know. I need that feedback. The feedback is crucial. Even if it's negative feedback, as long as it's feedback, I appreciate that. Now, a real sick shoe are these. Wow. In person, <laughs> wow. I love them. Kind of reminds me of the Bapes back in the days. Like, it's all pan leather. The entire shoe, except the nylon tongue, is pan leather. And I'm super impressed with them. I absolutely love them. They will be slightly limited, so you definitely want to be on it. Good luck to everyone that's looking for them. I will post tons of information on my blog, thesneakeradic.com, to help you out in the morning of this release. So go to my blog around 9 a.m., and I'll keep updating it as we get to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Plus, I'll be tweeting information. And keep in mind, for the people that like to hate in the comments, I am doing this to help you guys out. When I tell you go to the blog, I'm posting where you can find the shoe to help you guys out. When I'm telling you to follow my Twitter, it's because I'm tweeting where you can find the shoe to help you guys out. So this is all for you, for me to possibly help you score these shoes right here. And I highly recommend them. They're going to crease, but they look badass. Now these I'm seeing for the first time, and they are heat. I love them. It kind of reminds me of, you know, the Cherry 13s, but, you know, it's blue now. And I love them. I definitely love them. You will get a review on them. Just let me know what you want to see first, and I will edit that next. I'm going to keep knocking out videos. I may post three videos today, so as I said earlier in the video, hit that bell. And I think the shoe that people are going to want a review on the most, I may be wrong, but these right here, the Foamposite Galaxies, yes, I have them in hand and I will do a super detailed review on the shoe. Now, how limited they are is a big question we all have been asking. They are kind of limited. So this is a shoe that you gotta be on it if you want it. It's as simple as that. If you want these shoes, you gotta be on it and do your research, enter for your raffles and all that good stuff because they are kind of limited but they're not as limited as I thought they would be. In person, I will say right off the bat, I like them a lot, but they're not messing with the Galaxy Foams. The original, the OG Galaxy Foams, they're not messing with the Galaxy Foams. They are very nice, but in my opinion, the Galaxy Foam that released years ago is a hundred times better than these but they are pretty damn cool. Are people excited about this is a question I'd like to finish this video off with. I like throwing a lot of different things your way, like we're hanging out, talking kicks. How do you feel about this shoe? Do you feel like this is something that is gonna be really hype or people are like over the whole phone posit thing? Phone posits are dead. There's a lot of people that feel that way about phone posits, they just, Feel like they're so overrated and let me know your thoughts on this galaxy 2 foam posit shoe right here i just feel like i have the galaxy already so this one is not a necessity for me like i'm not fiending for these not not like the black cements that are about to come out which are incredible like i need the black cements that's a must have but this right here to me it's not a must have but let me know if it is for you and I did a review on the Bread Toe Air Jordan ones. Watch that video. It's really awesome. Definitely check it out. Plus, I sneak in a review of the Black Cement 3s. I'll put a pop-up right now on the screen. Check that video out. If it doesn't pop up, just go to my latest uploads and check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in. We got the Sneakerratic t-shirts. Make sure to support the channel. Pick one up. 
1999 ships worldwide fits true to size high quality tees the same people that make the bullet club tees make my tees so you know the quality is too sweet getting back to the calories one more time let me know your opinions i love them i absolutely love them but i gotta be picky when it comes to these kicks i still try to give you guys as much content as possible this is probably the longest running sneaker youtube show besides Jumpman Bostick. We've been doing this for a long time because we love sneakers and we love entertaining you all and we'll continue to as long as you guys keep watching. So please show that support, share the videos, thumbs them up, leave them comments. It's very motivating, especially when you're exhausted. I just had a son a week ago and it's been pretty busy, but this is a big passion of mine. I have some free time in my hands and I enjoy doing this. So as long as you guys enjoy this i'm gonna keep doing it much love i'll see you guys in a little bit i'm uploading a bunch of videos today as i said thanks for watching